Welcome back. This is RD Kamikaze, your host for today, uh, again. And I am bringing you all back to after I added water to my hydro generator. Hydrogen generator, I meant to say. Anyways, I forgot to show you all the importance of your Sharpie. Just to clarify to everybody that you do not want to drink this. And it is a bad idea. And then for your own reference, how many teaspoons of sodium hydroxide there is. How was that? <clears throat> Anyways, I have here my hydrogen generator. And for those of you who are curious how I hooked it up, this is for testing. This is how. So I've got this, my testing negative, I call it, because it goes to my actual negative. That's kind of there. Anyways, negative on the car. It just goes to ground. Then we come over here, and we see the positive lead running over here to a relay, which is also set with this. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. And it runs over there, and there's a lot of blue wires over there. And then it goes right into there to the hot side, as we call it, for my ignition. I don't know if you guys can really tell. I'm trying to get an unblurrified picture. But anyways, it's on the hot side, trust me. Kind of hard to do, but it's pretty cool. That way you don't have to do any. Oh, tapping into wires and crap. So anyways, here's our generator. And we come over here and see that, hey, look at that. You can make good use of Sobe bottles. Yay, Sobe, or Sobe, or whatever. This goes to the generator, which is currently down there. So it's not going to do it any good. So it's down here. Anyways, the generator would go right there. I'll show you guys again after this is all done. And for those of you who are Solera Gen 2 owners, which is my car, Yay! We come over here, not over there, over here, and see, hey look, I just used a, used a gutter guard, silly me, already kamikaze is such a silly head, but it works! And then, this is just the guard for it temporarily while I go on trips and make sure it works, but I've really got a nice grill in the front that goes there, I don't think anybody on YouTube's ever seen it yet. And then right now I've got I've got an ammeter the other day, but it's kinda not liking me, so that's okay. We'll we'll play around with it another day when it gets working. So we come in here, turn the car on. It's not brum brum on, no ignition or engine running. We just wanna see the production. Got a pretty good amount of Hydrogen coming off, except might be a leak or something because it usually goes bubble, 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 bubble. And it usually gets a lot happier than it is right now. I'm not happy today, says the little bubbler. Let's see. Maybe it's just because the engine is out on. Let's check it out. Or maybe it's that new black stuff I added. Darn fuck. Those are my windshield lookers. Let's see if I get any more pressure. Not so happy mode activate. Okay, so not producing what I expected by sealing them off it's usually a better thing to do but currently right now in this case it's not so I'll figure it out and uh, see if I can get it to produce more a little later. I really need that ammeter. It might be because I'm not running just a little too less sodium hydroxide. That's okay. We just have the base amount in there. You can always change later. So we'll actually see what that does on the next episode.